So until you actually get to OT3, you're going to reserve judgment and... Okay. But, I mean, there's websites out there like xscientologykids.com and they've got, like, their FAQs, you know, section and sort of what is OT3 and there's lots of people out there. Uh, Tori Magoo, who used to be an OT3 Scientologist and plenty of other people above her, who say, this is it, this is what you get. But you're, gonna, you're not going to take the word of former Scientologists, you're going to wait until you get to yourself. How far up the bridge are you? Not very. Not very. No. Why is that? Is that because you're not fully committed to Scientology or because you haven't got the resources or time to... Uh... No, but I'm at uni, so... Okay. A lot of your friends, they uh, they part of Scientology? Uh, no, not particularly. No? no? But it works for you, right? Oh man. Well listen mate, at the end of the day, as I say, I'm not here to like sort of have a go at people on a, you know, from a religious sort of standpoint. Hello, sir. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm okay, sir. I'm just having a chat with uh, this gentleman out here. Uh, not a cause of disturbance, are you? I'm not at all. Uh, I've been actually chatting with this guy for about 15 minutes or so, and I haven't raised my voice any higher than I have done with you just now. Are you a member of uh, what's been happening? Uh, have I we had a phone call saying something uh, anonymous, Mark? Uh, okay. Uh, I'm just down here wondering what's going on. That's all. You were shouting quite a bit before. I I, uh, I had about 30 seconds of uh, shouting out various things as to why I'm here, and then I spotted this gentleman's eye. Uh, asked him if he was a Scientologist, and he said yes, he was. And since then, I've been talking to him just as I am now. Uh, in terms of the disturbance, if one did happen, it was for about 25 seconds, 35 minutes ago. 25 seconds. Alright. Alright. Uh, well, I'll just take some details. Right. And uh, we'll see what my colleague My colleague's gone inside, so we've run some checks to see okay. what's happening, alright? But I can see we've been called, so we've got real. Well, I mean, this, 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 this happens yeah. all the time on Tottenham Court Road, mate. And a lot, a lot of the time when it does happen, I mean, they say that we're all standing on the opposite side of the street, blocking people from getting into their, their shop. And it, it's just, it's nonsense. Is this, is this, I mean, this can't be the first time that you've, uh... It's the first time I've been down here, to be fair. Are you aware, are you aware as to why I'm here? Um... Do you understand as to what it is I have against it? It's something about, I don't know, I'm not... No, I mean, other things like... I presume like, you're against the organisation. I right? am. But it's, like, but this guy's a Scientologist. I'm not against Scientologists. Right. It's the crimes of the Church of Scientology. Okay. Right. That's, that's, that's what the issue is. Yeah. He's come down with the rest of your colleagues and they demonstrate visual free yeah. range. Yeah. And right. come down other times. So, I mean, so for me to come here even on a sort of quiet basis and just have a chat with a guy outside... Well, it's just... You're upsetting the staff in there. But, uh, I think free range. As you all know, you're only allowed on that side of the street. Well, I was going to cross the side until I sort of saw him, and then I stopped sort of, you know, saying anything as I was about to go across. Just, just take it right there, Yeah, I mean, You've yeah, got look. a perfect right to protest, yeah. all of that. I, mean, I don't particularly mate, care. It's, it's such a genuine reason as to why I'm yeah. doing it. That's I'm thing. not concerned why you're doing it. It's just that we've had a call, and whoever makes the call, we've got a duty to No, 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 sure, you, you have a and job to respond to it. You've said to me that you've created a disturbance about 25 seconds. Well, right? a, a disturbance in the sense that I was sort of talk, shouting to people across the street. Right. Uh, it was literally sort of two or three catchphrases, and right. that was it. And then okay. I thought, what's the cross? Every time we turn up, they call the police, and it's such a waste of your time. If you look, right, if this is the first time you've been called out to an anonymous protest, like, you know, someone of anonymous protesting yeah. against it, Please have a look. I guarantee you there has not been one incident of anonymous protester yeah. actually accused of disturbing the peace or violence or anything like that. Okay. We, we really do know the rules. I know that I've got to be on that side. I then was walking down this side of the street because that's the side I arrived on. Right. I had a chat with this guy. About to go, you know, I would have gone across had it not been for him to have been there. That, right. that was all it well, was. Well, take some details then. We'll... Well, what sort of details do you want, mate? Right. You've got to say, I'm very, I mean, the thing is, these guys attack their critics. If I, I, I would, I would rather, right, you just kind of, you had a chat with me, I'd rather just go. Right, what's your name? You want my, my full name? Yeah. You have to understand, mate, that I am really, really worried about giving you my proper details. Well, I'm not going to pass on to that, I can't see your hair. I've got no pants, mate, so you can't touch. Uh, oh, I'm appreciate that. Yeah. I really do.
Yeah, I mean, seriously, like, I, I, I feel sometimes it's such a shame because it's such a waste of police time and just happens all the time. Every time it does, it always seems to be a new policeman. Well, under the European Convention of Human Rights, you've got freedom of expression. So I'm not interfering in that. And I don't care why you're here, it's just the fact that there's a disturbance. Um, and you even said they, to me that there'd been a disturbance. Well, no, no, all I, all I said to you was that I, when I would sort of come down here, I was about to cross the road, shouted out a few things, which I would be doing from up there if I had to be there, because otherwise no one's going to hear me, right? So, in terms of the disturbance, I mean, I don't really see how it's a disturbance. These guys waste so much of the police time, mate, it's such a crime. And the, the sad thing is, is it never seems to be the same policeman. It always seems to be someone else who hasn't got any kind of perspective on the situation. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, seriously, these guys are... I, I was about to cross over. Right? The, only, the only thing is, is I'm now put into a Scientologist, which they do not like in the slice of You know, I've been there for like 15 years. You entice the police to school my property while wearing a mask. You're filming him. There's not any excuse that they've got cameras on you that you've got a mask. Right. Mate, there is a good reason why I wear the mask. Well, I'm not going down the road. Police have gone back on the sides. They're giving me a talking to. They had to deal with the usual Scientologist bullshit. And now it's back to the pub. Thank <laughs> you.